Christmas Lights for Veterans. I'm your Eagle neighborhood reporter, Alexander Huddleston, and I traveled back to Avonmore to speak with one family who is spreading holiday cheer and helping those in need. Driving through Avonmore, you will see Christmas lights illuminating the night sky. However, one home in particular has a special aura about it. Well, there's, there's just a lot of variety. It's very bright. I like the trees and, and they are colorful. I, I spent a lot of time in the military and um, never had a chance to to really do this, you know, and I always I love Christmas and I love the time of year. Just moving around a lot. Um, and you not move around a lot. You can't pack this kind of stuff with you. This is the first year Michael and Elisa Collins decided to decorate their home, but they wanted to do it in a way that would bring the community together. We're going to be having an annual community sort of barn raising style event um, to kind of pull this together every year because it really is more than a one person job and, and it's taken hundreds of hours and it really helps when the community comes out and says, hey, we're doing this for a cause. A cause close to Michael's heart, giving back to the military veteran community. There's people that um, have fought for our freedom that are, are suffering and and they have you know families we're at veteranslightshow.com and people can go on and donate just online even if they're unable to right. come out but if you do come out there's qr codes all over they even figure out a way to get the kids involved oh the magic mailbox is one of the most special parts of our display you fill out your name and your age and you have to tell santa if you have been good this year or if not so good and then you tell santa what you want for Christmas, and you seal it up, and then you put it in the red um, the red mailbox. It activates a video, and like you get to like see if you're naughty or nice. Were you were you naughty or nice? Nice. You were nice. Between the donations, the hot chocolate, and the really cool photo op, and over seventy thousand lights as of right now, the Collins family makes sure that your experience is one to remember. So we have little, we have kids come out and they sit on the bench or they're with their parents and or grandparents and and they see the lights and they, you know, this that joy on their their eyes and on their faces. It's wonderful and a great way to just bring awareness to the veterans and raise money for that cause. If you don't have the pleasure to stop by this display and donate, don't worry. The couple says that you can donate on their website, and which I have linked on this story at IdahoNews6.com. Reporting in Avamore, I'm your Eagle Neighborhood Reporter, Alexander Huddleston, Idaho News 6.